Hello everybody, one more time. My name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners. And in this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at something that I really, really like, which is the UFC and MMA. And uh, recently, George St. Pierre fought a, uh, Nick Diaz for the welterweight uh, championship of the world. And one thing that I noticed as a graphic designer, of course, was um, the magnificent poster that they put out. And so, uh, great style for it. And I thought I would do a video cast about the effect. Of course, this effect might not be exactly the way that they did it, uh, because of course you would have to uh, be in the shoes exactly the designer. And so this is actually a process of, of trying to back engineer um, the effect and then uh, find a way of doing that. So in this case, I'm gonna do it a little bit different, but if you like the UFC and if you like that poster of uh, UFC 158, then this should be a great podcast and, and a way to learn how to do great posters. So let's take a look. But before we start, uh, let's take a look at our sponsor. So our sponsor, of course, is Mercal's uh, and Mercal's.com. And um, Mercal's focus is to provide help to businesses of all sizes uh, by the use of a strategic website design, custom digital media development, and web marketing. For more information, you can visit us um, at www.mercals.com or you can call us at 888-525-8117. 888-525-8117 or on the web at mercals.com. All right, here we are in Photoshop and I have a photo of GSP from the web and I have a layer zero that I am actually going to remove the effect here. Uh, so basically I have um, layer zero. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and, and delete it so that we don't have that. We can start from scratch and then I have some text because we're not going to be uh, dealing with uh, making the text for a graphic today. Um, all right, and so what we're going to do and if I possibly can do this, I would cut at this moment to see the final, um, the final thing that we're going to be looking at so that you guys can see the end result of what we are uh, trying to accomplish today. So hopefully by the end of this, uh, you'll be able to accomplish something like this. Okay, great. So um, I have now uh, a photo of GSP from the web and just some text. So basically I'm starting from completely from scratch. So first thing I'm gonna create is a layer. I'm gonna put it at the bottom and I'm gonna call it background. And I am gonna fill this layer with a gradient, okay? So this gradient is going to have, of course, the colors that I've defined already. In this case is 005 dBC. And the ending color is going to be 030034 in case you're wondering which, uh, what those colors were. But basically it's just a blue and a lighter blue. Uh, hit OK and go ahead and simply do a side to side um, gradient. And as you can see, uh, the actual poster has them inverted, so I'm going to do it from right to left, like so. Perfect. Um, so that's the, the first part of it. The second thing is that I am going to duplicate this layer and put it on top of the GSP layer. Um, and then I'm going to turn its blending mode to color. All right, and I'm gonna turn on the GSP layer. All right, so I have it positioned here. A um, Couple of things that you wanna do to the image of uh, the background is that you wanna reduce a little bit the medium contrast. And to do that, we can just add here a curves adjustment layer. Make sure that you click here so that you are just clipping the layer below it and once you do that then with the pencil you can actually draw a line like so so basically just getting rid of the contrast in the middle section here that's pretty much it 
Let's close that. And then what we're going to do is reduce the opacity of the layer overall. The only other thing that, that I believe that they were applying was, of course, a filter on sharpening, uh, on sharp mask. So let's go ahead and do that. So filter, sharpen, on sharp mask. And then do so to taste. All right. Pretty much exactly like that. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I mean, if you see, I'm using an opacity of about 65%. And this is the layer that actually provides the whole, uh, the whole effect. I'm going to just uh, duplicate this layer here. I'm going to resize this top layer. Position it about here. on top, like so. All right. And of course, in this tutorial, I'm not going to go into detail on how to mask elements. So I'm going to do this part fairly, fairly fast. So you end up with these two layers, black and white, and you're going to hold the command key and click on top of the mask layer that you created. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You're going to select, of course, your, uh, your color layers now. And you're going to click the mask layer. Great. As you can see now, it's perfectly masked and ready to go. All right. And so if we turn on the other effects, so basically we're having uh, exactly what we wanted, which is USB in the front, forefront here, and USB in the back, just like in the poster. Um, of course, you can do a third copy of this and reduce the opacity of this one to maybe 45%. And then, of course, we can add a, another masking layer with brush, this time with a little bit of less hardness, maybe zero, zero percent even, uh, but the opacity at about 50 percent or so. And then we can color some portions to actually make them more prominent. And of course, you have to select black so that you're painting on your mask. All right, finally, what we can do in this layer is to add an inner glow. Inner glow. Screen, same color as this one. And of course, we're gonna increase the size of the inner glow, like so. And reduce the opacity, like so. just to make it seem like it's glowing. All right. All right, great. And so now that you have it the way that you want it, then all that's left is to add the actual text and so forth.
are. And of course, you know, you can go in here and start making every, every other part of the effect the best. For example, uh, add another layer and then with white, start trying to increase uh, the highlights as they did in the original image with Nick Diaz. an overlay. So by painting with overlay, I can darken certain parts of the of the image in the back. All right, and then add an adjustment layer to actually remove this part. Like so. All right, now it's finishing touches. Let's go ahead and add another layer here white and still one of these sparkles or lens flares maybe not that one <laughs> all these lens flares of course you can find online and download for free. And then let's go ahead and add right below this, on top of this one, I'm sorry. Go ahead and add another lens flare. So. And there you have it. Pretty much a reversed engineer, um, reverse engineered way of uh, accomplishing the poster for UFC 158 uh, with Photoshop. Um, so hopefully this can show you some techniques. Uh, of course, now we're starting to use more masking uh, we're starting to use uh, more adjustment layers. You should be familiar now with um, going to the channels, uh, not only to the layers uh, stack, but also to the channels and checking which channels have more contrast than others and being able to select channels um, and use them effectively for your compositions uh, in a professional way. So hopefully this one will be extremely valuable for you and uh, Again, this is the way that the professionals do it. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, don't hesitate to contact us at mercados.com um, or comment 
down in the YouTube video uh, comment section. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Alex Antenna with Mercados, Interactive Partners. See you next time. Bye-bye.